ready? Oh, it must be, it must be story time with me, Liz. Hello. As always, it's lovely to have you with me today, wherever you are in the big round world. I hope you're doing good. Oh, I'm very pleased to hear it. As I'm recording this, the sun is starting to set. It's going to go to sleep very, very soon. So we've got a lot of uh, light coming through at the moment. But I mustn't grumble because it's always lovely to see the sun. Today we're going to be reading this fabulous book. I'm so glad I found it. It's been around a long time. It's a real classic. And let's see who we've got on the front cover. Because remember, ooh, <laughs> the front cover always gives us a little clue, a little hint about what the story could be. So who can we see? Well, who have we got here? Ooh, I think it's a little boy. And he's looking upwards and he's looking up at a rather mm, ferocious, quite scary, Scary, looks quite angry, monster. And he's standing on top of a rock or a very tiny hill. And at the top, we've got some words, we've got some letters, and we've got the title here. And it says, Not Now Bernard. And we've got the author's name here, and it's David McKee. And David McKee is a very famous children's author and illustrator. In fact, we're going to read some more David McKee books quite soon. So let's find out what happens in Not Now Bernard. Now Bernard has a problem. He's found a monster in the garden. But his mum and dad are just too busy to notice. So Bernard tries to make friends with the monster. And let's find out how well or how successful that goes. move a bit so you can see because the pictures also help to tell the story hello dad said bernard oh not now bernard said his dad because his dad instead of hitting the nail has hit his finger and his finger's gone red and poor old daddy's face has gone green we often show a face growing green means you're going to be sick oh dear Hello, Mum, said Bernard. Not now, Bernard, said his mother. There's a monster in the garden and it's going to eat me, said Bernard. Oh, not now, Bernard, said his mother. Because Mummy has been watering the plant. And oh dear, there's a crack in the vase and the water's all come out. So Mummy is a bit annoyed. She's not listening. Bernard went into the garden. Hello, monster, he said to the monster. The monster ate Bernard up every bit. <laughs> Bernard just said how, didn't he? Then the monster went indoors. Rawr, went the monster behind Bernard's mother. Not now, Bernard, said Bernard's mother. Is she looking? The monster bit Bernard's father. Ah, not now, Bernard, said Bernard's father. And this time, Bernard's father's face has turned a different colour. It's turned a shade of purple, a bit like the monster. And again, that means a lot of blood has rushed to your face. You're in pain. Your dinner's ready, said Bernard's mother. She put the dinner in front of the television. The monster ate the dinner. <laughs> and it watched the television. Then it read one of Bernard's comics. When it broke one of Bernard's toys. Go to bed, I've taken up your milk, called Bernard's mother. So the monster went upstairs. Butter, 
I'm a monster, said the monster. Oh, not now, Bernard, said Bernard's mother. <laughs> it's quite a funny book, isn't it? I don't think Mum or Dad really looked to see what was happening. They weren't doing very good looking or very good listening because Bernard did tell them that there was a monster in the garden and the monster was going to eat him up. And that's exactly what happened. But they didn't realise. He sent the monster to bed instead of Bernard. Oh, well, I suppose it teaches us that we all need to do good listening and good looking. Well, until we meet again, remember, stay safe. Keep washing your hands, really important. And what else is important? You've got it. Keep smiling. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.